What's going on guys? Currently on site. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I don't have my mics on. Uh, currently on site in Newberry, South Carolina picking up. Uh, <laughs> I feel like Newberry, South Carolina is like the perfect name for a little town in the, I don't want to say backwoods, but little town deep in the woods in South Carolina. I feel like Newberry is the perfect name for that. But anyways, we are on site in Newberry, South Carolina. We're picking up a big old Caterpillar generator. We got one, uh, one generator piece. It's somewhere down that row right there. He's gonna come in and get it here in a second. And then right there on the corner, there's that pallet with a bunch of racking on it. That's the steps and railing to go with it. Uh, Hopefully it's not the one down there that has uh, some pipes uh, like zip tied to it. I hope that's not it, but uh, might be, and we'll have to deal with that if it is. But just waiting on him to come around. He's gonna he's gonna pull down that row right there, snatch that thing up, back back out here into the parking lot, back up right where that pickup truck is right there. <clears throat> he's gonna back up there, and then he wants me to swing around here, swing in underneath that awning right there and then back straight up so he can load me right here, right out in this, this wide open portion. So just waiting on him to, he's gonna put his forks together, shorten them up a little bit, and then we're gonna put this thing on. This thing is coming out of Newberry, South Carolina, going to Youngstown, Ohio, right by my house. Perfect load for me. Loading, uh, I think they said it was 22,000 pounds, but I'm betting it's probably not even that much. That's probably a safe weight. And then that pallet of, of racking, and it's probably only, 500 pounds or so so oh there he comes right here i don't think he's got his fork shortened up yet Looks like he's going after the one with the pipes on the side, so we're gonna have to do something with that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe, maybe not. Man, we'll see when he comes back. So we got our chain down. Whew. We've had to pull underneath the awning to get out of the way of another truck. Got her all tied down. I figured I'd cover that real quick. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't have my mics on, but this is what we got going here. I had to use my clevises on the front corner to get the, to get the skirmish correct on this thing. The back corner, it actually, they wouldn't work. They were too big to fit in the hole, and you'll see that here in a minute. But because this one actually came out front and came out away from the unit, I was able to get this to work. But it didn't work on the back. We had to do that a little bit different. But what I did up here is I put my clevises on, X chain, both 3 8 chains. This thing only weighs 22,000, and he's telling me it was, he thinks it about 18,000. So she's pretty light. We got those two chains up there. And what I ended up having to do on the back, because this hole right here is it's got the tank on both sides, I was gonna end up damaging either one side or the other, trying to put my uh, clevis in there, and it was really, really tight. So I couldn't use that space. If that hole would have been back here, it would have worked, 
but because it's in the middle, I couldn't get the clevis, I couldn't get that thing to turn without causing damage. So went a little bit different route. I went down the bottom, I ended up hooking on the edge here at the very bottom, right where the, the piece is bolted in. Well, this is one of the strongest points on the machine. So ended up hooking a corner and going across and doing the same thing on the other side. Obviously we got a little bit of chain protection in the middle there because those two were touching. The ones up front were not, but those two were. So I threw a edge protector in there, satisfied DOT. And then they got this framework on the back that is on this pallet. I'm hoping that's all bolted together. I think it is, but we ended up putting two straps over that. Obviously got our edge protection up there on the straps. One strap on each stack. That piece is actually welded to this piece, so it shouldn't be a problem, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it. And then this side, the other challenging thing about this was these pipes up here. I started talking about that before, when he was bringing it over. We got these pipes up here that they have zip tied in. And I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure DOT would love that. Like they would just be super excited to see me roll into a scale on their side because this is the side that the DOT, the scale masters would be on and he'd see them zip ties and I'm sure they would love to see me. But so what I ended up doing there was I got a couple of this. Remember them, them little straps I bought? Inch and a half straps that I bought for holding that building. I ended up breaking out a couple of those, put those on going over. This, the zip ties were doing a really good job, but those straps are basically there just to make DOT a little bit happier. Make sure they don't jump on me about the zip ties. So we got those straps holding that pipe in. That was the best we could do. On this side here, got a clevis on just like the other side. X chain across. So we got four chains holding in the main unit, two straps holding in the back, and then these two little straps, which I have no idea what the, the rating is, or I think they're 5,000 pound rating, which surprised me. But uh, they're holding in those two. So we got way more than enough securement on. A, uh, a total of an 18 to 20,000 pound load. So we are gonna get out of here. Uh, hopefully we're gonna beat Charlotte traffic. Won't be too bad when we get up there. We'll see what happens. We got about a two hour ride to get there. And then uh, we'll be on our way to Youngstown. I told these guys that I thought I could be there by uh, between 10 and 12 tomorrow. Looks like that's possible. We'll see what happens, see where I end up tonight. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to stop at. But uh, the dimensions on this thing, Obviously because of the weight, it doesn't really matter where we put it, so I just said stick it on wherever. It doesn't make any difference. The We are exactly eight foot six inches wide. That thing is right on the money, right on the edge of the trailer. So we're eight six wide. And I measured, uh, I was a little bit concerned about height when he put it on, but I just measured it and I came out with 13.3. There's those two pieces up there. I don't know if you can see them. They're two little lips that stick up. And uh, they're the highest point. And I measured off the, the middle of that lift, which is the highest point of my trailer. And we are sitting right at 13.3, 13.3 and a half. So we're in good shape, dimension wise, weight wise. We're gonna get out of here. Hopefully uh, we'll get some good fuel mileage and uh, these hills won't slow us down. So we can get on the road and we will see you. Well, here we go. We gotta go down that road right there, behind the building. We gotta try to cut behind it. They got dirt piles, gravel piles, water lines, concrete pillars for lights, mud holes. A little bit of everything to be worried about here. So, here we go.